I just ate like eight of those. I have a bit of a sugar rush, but it's all good. Let's do it. Are you guys ready? Yo, yeah boy, Alex Boye here. I hope everyone is doing great. In this video, I will show you an Easter magic trick. It is pretty different than all of the other tutorial that I've done on this channel, but I know you guys are going to love it. So grab yourself some chocolate, a coin, a Sharpie, and we're ready to go. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll stop talking, and let's get right into the trick. Ah, let's go! All right guys, so the actual effect goes like this. Again, it is pretty cool. You ask your spectator for a quarter. So they're going to give you a quarter. And now you say, Mr. Spectator or Mrs. Spectator, I want you to sign one of your initial on one of the side. So they're going to do this. Let's say their initial is Z. So they're going to write Z just like this. Okay. Or N, but in this case, Z. Make sure it's dry. And now after this, you're going to write your own initials. So for me, it's A. So I'm going to write A. I think it's dry. Now you have a coin with two initials on it. And now you actually need chocolate. This is my favorite part of the trick. So you take one little, uh, how, how do you call this? Hen hunt chocolate. Uh, it's a small chicken. It, he is super cute. Now you have your little uh, chocolate chicken. You have your sign quarter. You place it on the table and watch this. This is gonna go really fast. You take the quarter and you place it inside the wrapper. Watch this. As you can see, it is sealed. You open it that make sure that the spectator sees that you have nothing in your hand you show the little chocolate chicken and inside I don't know if you can hear that guys there's actually poor little chicken there's actually the quarter inside of the chocolate chicken. You can take it and give this to the spectator and they can see their initial, your initial, and that, my friend, is pretty cool. You have an Easter miracle only for you guys. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> All right, guys, so like I told you earlier, I... so good. This is a different kind of tutorial that I do usually. So what you're going to need to perform this effect is any kind of knife. Kids out there, be careful, please. Have your parents beside you just to make sure everything goes well or ask them to do it for you. An exacto, any kind of knife. I use this one just because I'm weird. You'll also need some glue and some uh, little chocolate chicken and two quarters. Last but not least, a Sharpie. Let me explain the setup for you. You're going to take one of the uh, chocolate chicken and you're going to open it really slowly. So let's say here, you have a little plastic thing there that you're going to slowly rip. Like, that's not good, right? This is, this is exactly what you don't want. You don't want this. Make sure you really open it like this. This is the perfect opening that you want, right? You can actually glue it back after, okay? So this is exactly what you need. After this, you're going to take the chicken, the chocolate chicken, and you're going to do a slit under it. Again, guys, uh, be careful with that. It's actually a knife, so. And since uh, your hands are probably a bit hot, I actually use a paper towel like this, wrap it around so the chocolate won't melt because uh, yes, I have a hot body. All right, so now you're going to take uh, the knife and you're going to do a slit under the chocolate here. Also, take your time for this and make sure you don't go super hard on it because it's going to crack all the chicken and you don't want this. You really want only a little slit. And also make sure the slit is big enough just to make the quarter fit in it, but don't make it too big also. I'll try it if it works. A little bit bigger. And there you go. If I let it fall, I know that the quarter is going to fit in it. Now, what you're going to do is take a quarter and you're going to sign. I'm just going to remove some of the chocolate on, the, on this quarter. You're going to sign your first initial on both sides. So you're going to take the Sharpie. You're going to write your initial. For me, it's A. So I'm going to write A on this side, A on the other side. And this quarter, you're going to place it inside of this little chicken. By the way, here's the little slit. Okay. You're going to place it inside of it, just like that. Okay. And you're going to place this inside of this little uh, plastic bag here. And now you're going to take some glue and you're going to glue it back. So just put a little glue here, a little glue there, press it 
firmly and you're going to have the perfect gimmicked chocolate chicken for your magic trick, okay? And you're basically ready to go after this. The only thing you need to do now is to borrow a quarter from your spectator. So you're going to borrow it, you're going to ask the spectator to sign uh, his initial on the quarter. And it doesn't matter on what side the spectator signed his initial. And don't make a big deal out of it because you almost want the spectator to forget on what side they signed their initials, all right? That's super important, by the way. So we're going to say like, I'm just gonna write my initial here. Now you do yours. So we're going to ask them now, can you write your initial on it? And by doing this, by not making a big deal out of it, they're not gonna really remember on what side they signed their initial on, right? So they're going to do it and you're ready to go. Now, on one of my other videos, I actually taught how to make a quarter pass through a table. If you guys want to know more about this video, you can click actually right here. It is pretty cool. I have like a uh, four version of it. Trust me, you're going to impress everyone with that. But for this version of the coin through this little chocolate chicken, it's pretty much the same actually. So watch this. When the quarter is here, I actually take it like this, but in reality, I don't have it in my hand. So here's what's up. You're going to place it on the table. You're going to go like this. You're going to take it once for real if you want, right? Just to make sure that the spectator see and knows uh, what you're going to do. After this, you say, watch this. I'm going to place the quarter here. I have my little chicken there and watch. I'm going to take the quarter and now you don't take it for real, right? So again, in slow motion, you take the quarter, you place it on the table, you take it for real and you say, I'm going to take this quarter and try to make it teleport inside this little plastic thing here, right? So in their mind, they're convinced that you're going to pass the quarter basically through uh, this little plastic thing. But what they don't know is that you're going to make it teleport inside the chocolate. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, the second time you do it, you go like this. All right, don't do this, but your fingers are going to go like this. You're going to pretend to take the quarter, so it goes like that. You slide it, make sure your legs are closed, and you let it fall on your lap. And at the same time, you take it and you look at it and believe that it's there. Because if you believe that the quarter is here, your spectator will believe also, all right? In reality, there's nothing. And now you're going to go like this, watch. You blonde it and you make it disappear right beside this little plastic thing here, okay? Now, it's really important that you show both of your hands empty, and now you say, here, watch. As you can see, it is sealed. Now you open it, and you drop the chocolate chicken in your hand. Make sure that the slit is towards you. Take it like that, so you can actually cover the slit with your thumb. Shake it a bit, and you ask your spectator, do you hear this? and they're going to freak out, trust me, all right? At the same time you shake it, this hand is going to go on my lap and I'm gonna retrieve the sign quarter. Now I have it palm in my hand and I go watch. Now you take a bite of it. My favorite part. After biting the end of the chicken, you can actually crack a bit of pieces like this, all right, to make sure that they don't see the slit. It's a bit messy, but it's kind of cool. And now you open it and now they're going to see the quarter right here inside of the chicken. Now you're going to do a false transfer. So you're going to change this coin that has your initial on it for the actual coin, right? So you're going to take it like this, but in reality, you let this quarter in your hand and this one, you can turn it and show that this is exactly their signed coin and you're left with a pretty cool miracle. All right, guys, so I'll be honest with you. Uh, after ripping out some uh, chicken heads, chocolate ones, hmm? Um, yes, it is a bit messy. It's a bit weird to do. Like it's, 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 it's pretty funny to watch actually. Like you break some chocolate, you have chocolate all, all over your hand. You have some chocolate everywhere on your mouth. And it's like, is that your quarter? But I think that's the funny part of it. That's a cool part of it. And sometimes it's magic. Uh, it needs to be that way, right? When it's too serious, it's almost boring, right? So make it fun, make it super playful. And also, it is a pretty good trick. When I was younger, I didn't have lots of money to buy magic tricks and stuff like that. So what I've done was this. So I was sometimes with my grandma and I was trying to like uh, create tricks that I can do with everything that I was looking at, right? Cards, pencil, uh, coffee mug, anything, right? And I remember doing this when I was super young and everyone freaked out pretty much. So uh, try it, let me know how it worked. And also, please be careful if you're using a knife, make sure uh, you have the supervision of your parents. Uh, but yeah, have fun with it, guys. Thank you, Jesus.